Hello and welcome in this video for this exercise in which we are going briefly to introduce the double factorial function. So this exercise is this one. You want to know the value of 4 double factorial times 6 factorial over 5 factorial times 3 double factorial. So if you want to give a try, please pause the video. Otherwise, let's see the solution. Before starting, let's recap what a factorial is. Factorial of a natural number, this is n factorial, this is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, all the way down times 3 times 2 times 1. For example, 4 factorial, this is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 24. And you can notice that 3 times 2 times 1, this is also 3 factorial, so 4 factorial can be written as 4 times 3 factorial. So now let's talk about double factorial. So if you want to use the double factorial function, you need to start with two cases. First case, n is an even number. So n double factorial, this is n times n minus 2 times n minus 4 times n minus 6, all the way down to 4 times 2. Just an example. 8 double factorial equals to 8 times 6 times 4 times 2, and this is 384. Second case, if n is an odd number. This time, n double factorial equals to n times n minus 2 times n minus 4, and so on and so forth, until 3 times 1. Just to illustrate, the value of 7 double factorial is 7 times 5 times 3 times 1. This is 105. One thing about the double factorial function, you can find a formula, and it's nice to know, a formula in which you've got simple factorial and double factorial. So n factorial, this is equals to n double factorial times n minus 1 double factorial. And 0 double factorial, this is 1. Okay, so now let's solve this exercise and many ways to solve that, but we are going to use this formula. So this formula, we are going to uh, interpret 6 factorial and 5 factorial function of double factorial. 5 factorial, this is 5 double factorial times 4 double factorial. 6 factorial, this is 6 double factorial times 5 double factorial. So if you plug this value in this exercise, you get 4 double factorial times 6 double factorial times 5 double factorial over 5 double factorial times 4 double factorial times 3 double factorial. Well, now, you can simplify and you end up with 6 double factorial over 3 double factorial. If you calculate 6 double factorial, this is 6 times 4 times 2. And 3 double factorial, this is 3 times 1. So the answer is 6 times 4 times 2 divided by 3, this is 2 times 4 times 2, this is 16. 
thanks for watching this video and I see you in uh, another video.